Welcome back to the Did You Know series. Now, because of the current coronavirus restrictions, I'm back at home, but we are going to be getting an insight into uh, the Southwest Public Protection Unit. We're going to be joined by the head of public protection, Figo, who I'm glad to say is joining me now. Um, Figo, can you just give us a, an intro into who you are and what your role is? Thank you, Tom. Yes, uh, my name is Figo Cruzan. I am a Detective Chief Inspector uh, in charge of the uh, Public Protection Investigation Strand on the South West BCU. The South West BCU forms part of four London boroughs, which is Merton, Kingston, Richmond and Wandsworth. I oversee domestic abuse, hate crime, harmful practices, sexual assaults, child abuse investigations and other safeguarding matters within the South West BCU. Now, we're going to talk about sexual assault now. So before we talk about that, can you give us a clear definition on the term sexual assault, please? Sexual assault is when a person coerces or physically forces another to engage in a physical sexual act against their will. Or a person touches another in a sexual manner without their consent. Touching could be with any part of the body or even with an object. And, and it's a broad spectrum, isn't it, in terms of the, the, the offences, but, but also there are a few misconceptions that come with those offences as well. There's a common misconception uh, that sexual assault is that the offender is a stranger. Well, uh, the truth is, in reality, the majority of the sexual offences take place where the offender is known to the victim. This could be relatives, friends, um, associates, um, or even work colleagues. Such attributes are sometimes unchallenged, whereby the perpetrator will go on and commit further offences. But sexual offences also takes place in marriages and relationships. And one thing I always tell people, remember, sexual relationships is about consent. That is all about consent. And if the consent is not there, then an offence has taken place. For example, if a partner or a husband sexually assaults another without their consent, there's a crime that's been committed and people need to come forward and report those matters to the police. Uh, and talking about reporting it to the police and the crime itself, can you give us a few examples of the type of crime or the crime types that you investigate in your department? The unit that investigates uh, sexual offences is referred to as a SAFAR unit. So within the BCU, the South West BCU, we investigate most of the sexual offences that take place. Um, others, uh, the very small minority, are investigated by another unit that I oversee, which is the Child Abuse Investigation Unit. They deal with child victims where the perpetrator has interfamilial relationship with that child victim, or the perpetrator is in position of trust. What I can say is we do have a specialised trained officers who are out there fully equipped to provide the best possible service to our victims and to assist them and ensure that the support is provided to them throughout their investigation. So you've got a well-skilled uh, team of individuals around you. You've also got support networks that are available to victims of sexual abuse as well, haven't you? Can you give us an insight into some of those support networks? Uh, in the MPS, and in particular for me at Southwest uh, BCU, we focus on what matters to people whether that is domestic abuse, sexual offences, child abuse uh, or hate crime, um, is about safeguarding vulnerable people from predatory offenders, which remains our number one priority. Um, we have been campaigning to raise awareness in these underreported areas, working closely with the public and also collaborating with our partners, which are statutory and some are specialised charity workers. So we talked about the support networks that are available out there. Yes, we've got the um, Rape and Sexual Assaults Support Centre. They provide a free, confidential, um, specialised support to victims of sexual assaults through consulting, uh, through advocacy, through uh, counselling, and many other supports out there available. We do also have a national helpline, the Rape Crisis, which people can contact them on 0808. 802-9999. We also have Survivors UK. Survivors UK is a, a charity that provides support 
to male victims of sexual assaults. Ego, can you give us a, a better understanding as to what initiatives and, and activities you are delivering to raise the profile of sexual offences and also some of the support networks that you've mentioned as well? As we all are aware, the pandemic has uh, had an, an impact by not allowing us to hold those face-to-face -face community engagement events. However, in December 2020, we at Southwest staged the very first Metropolitan Police's virtual uh, community engagement platform. This was live streamed through YouTube out to the community. The purpose of the event was to reach out to some of the most vulnerable victims of our society, being their voice, and to provide support, explaining all the support agencies and mechanisms available to them. How do you report a sexual offence? Um, very good question there. Uh, if you're a victim of a crime or concern someone else is, please contact the police on 999 in a matter of emergency. Non-emergencies 101. However, if you do not want to engage with the police, there are a number of support agencies that I've just talked about, which you can still seek advice and support. And what message do you have uh, to those who are or have been victims of sexual assault? I want to tell everyone, uh, those who are victims of crime, is to do not suffer in silence. Do not suffer alone and don't be afraid. We are here to provide you with support, confidence and courage in order for you to stand up against such cowardly acts and to support police to bring these perpetrators to justice and for others to provide support to victims of crime. More importantly, to challenge and report such matters to the police. Well, thank you very much, Hugo. You certainly do work with, with a team of heroes in, in my eyes. It, 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 sexual assault is, is, is a heinous act and uh, the, the trauma that, that victims suffer it is unimaginable and, and just the positive messaging and the insight that you've given on this video will hopefully uh, touch those and, and encourage those that are uh, victims or have been victims to, to either come forward or, or to, to get further support through some of the support networks that you've voiced. Thanks so much for giving us an insight into the Southwest Public Protection Unit. Please do continue the fabulous work that you're delivering and we wish you the best of luck for 2021. No, Tom, thank you so much for giving this opportunity. I want to thank everyone who's listening in and I wish you all the best. Thank you.